guys and welcome back to Troll Box. Today we are going to play The Remnant 2 on the max settings and about the last gameplay, Marvel Spider-Man. I had discovered two new suits. This is stable control. Need an update on the situation. The gameplay was mind-blowing. And about the story, Lee got really mad. He almost killed Spider-Man. Alright, so let's get back to our current gameplay. Here we go, character customization. I could use that. I could use that. I could use that. I could use that. Not bad. No, I could use that. I could use that. I don't like the look of this. I don't like the looks of this. God, I don't know what all this is, but I do not want to find out. Not bad. Well, this one is good. Not bad at all. All right. Eye color. Okay. Now the hairstyle. I love this one. Okay. Here we go. If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. your life the sinkhole your foot what you'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound fine two times then the sinkhole and just now hey let me see that leave it it's nothing hey i'm fine come on roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already this is not an admission. Now let me see. Uh, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. Kit said the ward was this way. He got injury on his leg. Huh. That old fairy tale? Yeah. Like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer around here. You think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh, he's all right. All right, let's go.
Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way. It's about time. What took you? Come on. Hey, look at this. What happened to these poor bastards? Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these guys. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. <clears throat> Something my ma used to say. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh. Nice shooting. Hey, that don't so count, we by killed the way. our first prey. <sighs> it's over. looking for this board it wasn't such a good idea <clears throat> I guess the deadwood ain't all gone after all no nope. ain't no way the war's real how would a nest like this out here you know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. All right. Come and get some. This is not happening. There we go. They can be killed like this. Oh my god. No! Oh no. By the way, you know, right here makes for three. Oh, shit. Hey, listen, for what it's worth, you were a good friend. You were a good friend. He's dying. Oh, 
Oh wow. It's okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. All right, here we go again. <sighs> Rude or thick down here. Must be what I felt back at the ward. Wait! <coughs> You're from the ward? Shit! <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here. But the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. That's over.
would know they've lost. They won't lay down without a fight. Is that... I think it, I think she's the queen. Shooting traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. Words as safe a place as any. Safer. So it's really real. Food and water and folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. I'm Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to the ward, and quick. The doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Wow. Oh, oh dear. This is Wriggler. Call me Riggs. I got you, darling. <laughs> Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Briggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh! He's the ward's mayor. 
thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? Yeah, well, you'll be safe here for as long as you need, Traveler. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing out here. <laughs> Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Oh, Traveler. How's everything? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. <laughs> I guess. I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kinda put me in charge. Well, maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but the ward's the only family I've ever known. I'll do oh uh so this thanks? has happened i don't know i guess i just take care of myself uh, eat right get to sleep early all that yeah, commander ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves i'm just trying to live right i reckon she learned it from the founder <laughs> he's been around for ages oh he ain't much for leading himself well, i couldn't say Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. You'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh, the Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but... Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is? Yeah, but when our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> she used to say that, too. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He, he gave us a heads up someone was coming. Then Clementine was the one that found you. They, they got a kind of uh, a root sense, I guess. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> And there you were. Wally, I, I mean, uh, Wallace, he, he has a way of seeing things. Always has. Wally's been with the ward since he was just a kid, and his seeing has saved a lot of lives. He's, uh, he's a good kid. The kind I'm damn grateful I don't, to be honest. He sees like the root. Sees what they see sometimes. The, the past, the future. Whew. All that knowing. Huh. It's a lot for someone to carry. You should ask him if you want to know more. Isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it. Not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric. Like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. Yeah, people here are friendly if you give them a chance. If you need anything, you know where to find me. You ever climbed to the top of that tower in the city? Looking for Ford? He's over in the warehouse. I'm sure he's got something going on. Always does.
That's too bad. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's final. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk, and some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Aren't you clever? Skeptic. That's fine. It so happens I knew you'd be coming today. Or I hoped. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present, sometimes. Anyone in particular? Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does, and we're damn thankful. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge.
Nosebleeds, headaches, and I worry about worse. Things we can't see so easy. <sighs> it's not like there's a manual. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Well, if there isn't a first time for everything. All right, new kid, let me save you some time. I'm McCabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Understand? <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? I am already regretting all of this. Friend, <laughs> glad to see you all. That's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. So long. I am not good with Paxel Tech faces. Ooh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel Tech apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel Tech name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel Tech faster. Stronger, the finest crystals anywhere. Beware the pestilence. Worried you'll get lost? Just head to the docks. You'll know Wally when you meet him. Talk to Wally. <laughs> He'll set you right. Can we talk to children? Nora is the best. I bet she'll help your friends. That we goat can. Is scary, but I like the shinies he has. I don't talk to strangers. What are you looking at?
I see you, traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. So... He changed the clothes. Remember, tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. Your path awaits. Goodbye, traveler. <clears throat> now he looks better. in here like you own the place that boy what talks to the root <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal but I also ain't dumb enough to cross him I don't reckon he was any more specific right well the boy's crazy but he ain't stupid and I can see your gear is uh, lacking to say the least if he asks you tell him I gave you this uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. It, friend I don't suppose he was more particular about why ha, yeah that sounds like Bravis right well I've got a pretty focused skill set I reckon I know what he means come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment Is it now? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right. So, what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words, percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. So...
The braiding is done. Let's go. That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time. Yeah, so we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Uh, let me save you some time so you don't keep nattering on. We used to live in that building over there. Then a stranger came. We called them the Wanderer. You might have noticed everyone gets a handle here. Anyway, they show up and stop the route. Now we live in these buildings here. That clear it up for you? And me? I keep it real simple. Less to worry about that way. Okay. We're finished here. like you could help an old man take on the world. <laughs> you ready to do this? Glad to hear it. Follow me. Crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds, even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about them. It was a matter of national security, of pride. So yeah, we opened the door and walked through Something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to. In case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on. There you are. Hurry up. <laughs> hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. The 
Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. My god, he's gone. Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. Did it? He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! Ah! Don't let go! Oh no! Somebody take me! Clementine! <sighs> shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! Oh no! 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 Don't do it! Don't you do it! Oh, this is so stupid! Wow! We'll continue this later. So, okay guys, this is it for today. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe and the bell so we get my next video's updates. And don't forget to share this video to your friends and comment to let me know what you think. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. I'll see you in the next one.